Hey guys, so today I was going to take and print up a model so I could put it up for Wednesday. Uh, for my, I usually try to put out two videos a week, and once in a while I get messed up on my timing. This week was a little bit different. Um, my last print that I did was the Scotty Dogs, and I'm going to switch over to the clip right now, where it's going to show. I'm going to be pulling the the bed out, and you'll notice that it jerks. I'll go ahead and put that clip up right now. Okay, it's been seven hours and thirty minutes. Let's take a look at them. Well, at the time when it happened, when I pulled it out, I didn't see anything on camera, but I could feel something wasn't right. And so, first thing I thought was it's going to be the bearings in the underneath the print bed. Well, once I took the belt loose, as you can see. It, you can hear them, but they're smooth. There's no issue there. Turned out what it was is my idler. Uh, the two bearings were seizing up. It would go like two or three turn, like maybe a half turn or whatever, and it'd seize up, and the belt was rubbing around on the pulley itself. So the bearings that it requires are, uh, let's see, I had the name of the bearing here. It's a MR84ZZ, and it turns out it's the same bearing that you can use in a Traxxas race car, one of those little, like the little remote control cars and stuff. But unfortunately, the uh, hobby shop here in Salinas, they uh, either went out of business or something's going on. They said they're only open for two hours a day, so I wasn't able to get the bearings there. I did order them online, so hopefully I'll have them by tomorrow so I can get a print up for the weekend. But... Uh, Anyway, that all fell apart. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get that up and running up for this weekend. But uh, what I'm going to do today is kind of work on my extruder a little bit. I think I finally got all my parts I'm needing. And of course, I built the, the stand here. Let's see. Desk is a mess. Anyway, I've got... Uh, made this uh, stand for it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and add on a couple more parts and then I'll uh, start designing a fan shroud for it the way I want to do it. So what I had to do is I had to order, since the last video where I was talking about it, I had to order this plate here which actually allows it to mount down to this piece. So judging by what it looks like on my other extruder it's going to go in this direction, where this hole here is where that tube runs through. And of course i got to take it all apart and get that fixed up. So give me a second here, grab some wrenches, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've taken this nut here and loosened it up. So I can go ahead and pull the throat out from the bottom of the, extru the extruder. And of course I'm going to knock everything over. I gotta get this office cleaned up, get everything rearranged so I can actually do some decent filming in here. <laughs> now that the channel's growing, I gotta do something better than what I've got now. I literally do all my I do all my filming within about a three or four foot spot. <laughs> so I'm gonna be changing that soon. Okay, so we have our hot end off of it. This is our nozzle throat. And I'm going to be switching over to a 50 millimeter, so it's going to be giving me a little bit more height, so I can do more uh, work with my hat fan shroud and everything. And this once again is a brand new hot end. Let's see. And I was able to pick up some more of these. I went on uh, Wish. That's an app they have on my phone. And is able to pick up these cotton with the uh, captain tape. I was able to pick up some of those, so I'm going to try to wrap it up a little bit better too. Okay. And I know it's the no nozzle is up against it pretty good inside there. We're going to change all that out. So right now I just want to get these nuts tightened up so I can. Pull the nozzle throat out. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Nope. Well, 
And on the nozzle itself, it's a, uh, how many millimeters is this? Seven millimeter for the nozzle. That's going to have to use a wrench on that portion of it. There we go. Now it should loosen up. Perfect. I'll just set that to the side for now. <clears throat> Let's see this plate here looks like it's just going to mount up Let's see it'd be like this yeah so I'm going to put one little bolt in here and then the nozzle throat will fit up inside that portion of it and then I can put the nozzle throat with the nut to lock it in place Give me just a second. Okay, so what it is, I found an M3 by, I think it's an M3 by 8. I'm not for sure. I don't think it's a 10. No, it's not a 10. So I think it's an M3 by 8. It's a little bit shy of what I want to be, so I'll, I'll go to the store when I get a chance to probably go to, to Orchard or something and pick up one. It's maybe a, uh, a 10 millimeter. But for now, that will work. Just kind of get us through until I can work on some more. I'm just going to snug it up a little bit. Once again, this screw is toward the front of the extruder. Then the nozzle throat fits back here. This is my 50 millimeter I'm going to use. Take the Teflon tube portion, have it facing downward away from the extruder. And then we'll just screw that in until it butts up against the housing on the inside. The way this one's designed there's a, a housing that comes up closer to the to the teeth so whenever you're using flexible filament or whatever it doesn't bind up so that should work out by just button it up against that and then what I'm going to do is take a nut and put on that. Let's go ahead and use one of these factory one of the skinny nuts I should have run it up from the other end, but that's all right. It takes a second to run it up. And then from there, let's go ahead and tighten that up. doesn't have to be super tight. And then I'll just snug this up a little bit more. That should work. So now we've got our nozzle throat on there, and that's all set up. Now I can take and bolt that onto here if I want to. Should allow me to bolt up. Yes. Uh, if you watched the video for when I built this stand, I used some longer bolts on it. I didn't know if they would work or not, but it looks like they're going to be all right for this. <clears throat> Let's see. There's my other piece. I'm just going to put some. One of the bolts up in here. I have to use a little Allen wrench. But I hope that's not going to be enough. That's why I got two different sizes. I couldn't find one that was shorter than a 10 millimeter, and there's a little bit of a gap there, which is going to be all right because eventually I'm going to take and fix a fan shroud, and it's going to come down below that. So even let's see. So if I go about that far into it, that should give me about six millimeters, five or six millimeters between the bolt and that. So I can make my fan shroud real fit there because I'm going to have it where it's going to bolt here and then on the front. So it's going to have plenty of points of contact on it. So that's probably going to work out just fine. I should have found some that were a little bit shorter so I could have now it's down tighter, but that's alright for now. At least it won't fall over. <clears throat> ok, 
Okay. So that is taken care of there. Now the next thing I want to do, and I don't know if I have enough time to do it right now. I got five minutes, that should work. <coughs> I gotta get ready for work here. I finished my first job and I gotta get ready for my second job. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm going to do, I discussed this a while back about fixing up a uh, something that will help cool this nozzle throat. And my question has been this whole time whether I could actually do this and, and make it work. So what I did is I purchased these aluminum anodized washers. And I'm going to try making like a heat sink on this nozzle throat. And that way it'll help cool it so it won't have as much of a pool of melt molten plastic up in this tube from that hot end. It'll hopefully keep it down centered in the hot end. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to try getting that fixed up. Yeah, I just don't know if I've got enough time to mess with it right now. <laughs> I've got a couple other things I want to try with it too. So actually, I think right now I'm just going to go ahead and call the call this video for now, and then I'll, uh, depending if I get my printer up and running for this weekend, I might just go ahead and finish it out this weekend and do that in my next video. But uh, anyway, that'll do it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I apologize for this kind of a video, but kind of uh, everything didn't work out. <laughs> I really appreciate everybody that subscribed. I believe as of this morning I was at 200 and I want to say 233 subscribers. I believe. And this is what the 19th of July 2016. I can't thank you guys enough. I definitely know that's more than what family members I've got and be friends on Facebook. So <laughs> I know other people are watching my videos and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.